Welcome to Puck Talk Hockey, a podcast where we journey back in time to explore the captivating history of the National Hockey League. I'm your host, and I'll be your guide in this exciting adventure through the evolution of the world's greatest ice hockey league. Before we dive into the specifics of the NHL's remarkable past, let's take a moment to set the stage for our exploration. The National Hockey League was established on November 26, 1917, in Montreal, Canada. Initially consisting of just four teams, the league has since grown into one of the most esteemed professional sports organizations in the world. Our journey begins with the formation of the NHL and its early years. The original teams, the Montreal Canadiens, Montreal Wanderers, Ottawa Senators, and the Toronto Arenas, laid the foundation for what would become a legendary league. Just two months into the inaugural season, tragedy struck when fire destroyed the Montreal Wanderers Arena, leading to the team's disbandment. However, this setback didn't deter the NHL's progress. By the 1920s, the NHL expanded to include teams from the United States. This period saw the emergence of iconic teams such as the Boston Bruins, Detroit Red Wings, and New York Rangers. It also witnessed the first Stanley Cup victory for an American team, as the Boston Bruins clinched the prestigious trophy in the 1928 season. As the NHL continued to grow, it faced significant challenges, including the Great Depression and World War II. Despite these obstacles, the league persevered and saw profound changes in the 1940s. Among them was the introduction of blue lines, which marked the beginnings of modern defensive strategies. Additionally, the NHL implemented the original six era, comprising the six enduring franchises of the Canadiens, Bruins, Rangers, Red Wings, Toronto Maple Leafs, and the Chicago Blackhawks. This era would last until the 1960s. The 1960s represented a milestone in NHL history as the league expanded beyond its original six teams. New franchises, such as the Philadelphia Flyers, Pittsburgh Penguins, and St. Louis Blues, brought fresh energy to the league. This growth also coincided with the arrival of a new generation of supremely talented players, including legendary figures like Bobby Orr and Gordie Howe. The NHL further expanded in the 1970s and 1990s, adding teams like the Vancouver Canucks, Edmonton Oilers, and the San Jose Sharks. These expansions not only diversified the league's reach but also showcased the extraordinary talent pool from across North America and Europe. Superstars like Wayne Gretzky, Mario Lemieux, and Yaromir Yager dominated the ice, captivating fans with their unparalleled skills. The NHL continued to evolve into the 21st century, facing new challenges and embracing innovation. In recent years, the league has implemented significant rule changes to increase scoring and improve player safety. Furthermore, the NHL expanded its global footprint by hosting games in Europe and launching the World Cup of Hockey. As we near the final chapter of our time-traveling expedition, it's important to acknowledge the NHL's impact beyond the ice. Through charitable initiatives, the league has supported numerous causes, including cancer research and youth development programs. The NHL's commitment to fostering inclusivity and diversity has also been commendable. And so, we arrive at the present day, where the NHL stands as a symbol of perseverance, teamwork, and sportsmanship. From its humble beginnings to the thrilling games we witness today, the NHL's history is a testament to the enduring spirit of the sport. That concludes our journey through the NHL time capsule. Thank you for joining me on this captivating adventure, revisiting the rich history of the National Hockey League. I hope you enjoyed this solo show and gained a deeper appreciation for the remarkable evolution of the NHL. Join me next time as we explore another fascinating chapter in the world of sports. Until then, remember to lace up your skates, grab your stick, and keep scoring those goals.